What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, the same as Kicks. And I'm back with an update. I guess you can call this update part number two on the 2013 Jordan Fear 4s. Or Jordan 4 Fears. Um, I think it was back last week. I called myself purchasing these off a of goat. And it was in real bad condition. Um... If you haven't seen that video, I'll try to leave a link uh, so you can see the beginning, uh, what they look like, or what did one look like. Well, this is like the kind of sort of finished product uh, after cleaning them. Um, this right here, I don't know what that is. I tried uh, everything I could from a uh, shout out to detergent to alcohol to uh, something else you could use to try to get the stain out but it won't come I even tried to use a brass uh, brush and it still won't come out and I don't want to damage the suede no more than what it is uh, so if anybody have any idea how to get that out um, please let me know but as far as everything else um, it turned out pretty good Salon Care 40 did as best as it could. I don't have a light box, but after leaving these outside for like a couple of hours on each side, that has gotten a little better. I'm not going to say it's completely like gray, but you could tell in the previous video how yellow it was. The suede itself stood up, stood out pretty decent. I mean, stand out pretty decent. Um, nothing to write home about, uh, but you know, it is good. Um around the collar the inside of the shoe I did the best I could uh, lint brush uh, the roll tape for the lint and all that stuff I used that a couple times jump man cleaned him off on the back um, mink oil did a little did a little justice for the plastic you know I got the scuff marks off of some of them but if you notice like on the wings the wings themselves still got the scuff marks so I need to get some of that uh, Mac Krylon and take the you know spray a little bit on that and take out the uh scrape marks the hill itself a little scuff mark right there but i did my best to cover it up and i used a toothbrush and a little white paint to blend it in what i did not notice was on the midsole if you look at the transition uh of the i guess they're trying to make it look like outer space um you notice where my thumb is, it's, it's a light gray and it turns into a dark, fades into a dark uh, atmosphere. Like like you're up close and then you look further away, it gets darker. Well, I did not pay attention to that. So when I did this side, this little spot right here on the midsole, I painted that black. So what I did do was I removed the black paint, blend it as much as I could to match this gray, this gradient of gray right here, and let it dry, and then I use a toothbrush and a toothpick, and I'll let you do the, figure out the rest. The toothbrush, leave the little splatter, and the toothpick, if you cut it, like a, a half of a quarter of it, you can make these bigger dots look like the planets are bigger stars. Shoelaces are the original shoelaces that I did receive from these, and uh, I did clean them, and I did uh, let them dry, I uh, used a lint shaver, shaved both of them down to where you don't hardly see any lint. The wings themselves, the little white part right here, they were scuffed up too. But I used some fingernail polish remover and rubbed them out and it came out pretty good. The tongue, as you can see, turned out alright on both of these. Um, the bottom of the soles, I did the best I could. I, did, I, I figured since I'm going to wear these, I'm not going to really put too much effort into them because either way it goes, they're going to get dirty anyway. Uh, the bubbles, uh, that right there, I got to touch that up a little bit because that little mark right there, and I didn't notice, I'm going to point right here. I didn't know, notice this part right here, but I didn't know about this part right here, and I tried to get it off as best as I could. I'm going to have to go back over that again, and let's check the other side. Now the insoles, I do have some different kind of insoles, but I decided to put some insoles that I had in my previous, some old shoes I had. Um, you know this like I say this turned out pretty good um, not as not as well as I wanted it to be but 
you know, a, it's better than what it was because it was looking horrible. It looked like I almost got to the point where I almost regretted buying them because I didn't know what this was going to look like after I had cleaned it. But after putting it through the wash and letting it dry and after several, you know, hours of brushing, uh, mink oil and stuff like that, they turned out pretty good. Um, some spots like this right here, I did put a, it's supposed to have been like a matte finish over this, but it turned out like it was almost like semi-gloss, but it still stood out. I could, I forgot to touch that part up. Uh, even on here, on the toe box, you look at the suede up here, this is still soft when you touch it, but you can't see the strokes unless I got real close. Um, there's a little spot right here where the suede was messed up. It was actually um, cut, so I ended up removing that and touching that up again. Uh, like you see here, the tongue's good. The cut around the collar, they're clean. And re 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 um, re um, regain their shape. But like I say, there's only so much you can do with some shoes um, then near 10 years old, which like I say, these turned out, as, I'm surprised as good as they did. Um, if you notice right here, this little black outline, well, the tape did not seal the suede material like it's supposed to, and some of the tape did um, overspray when it shouldn't have, because I made sure I had it up close, but not close enough. And uh, now I leave this dark outline, but if you go far away, you really can't tell. You really can't. I mean, they're old anyway. But, well, I guess question I have to ask you guys is what do you think um, let me back up a little bit what do you think so tell me what you think about these and what I did to them and if you have any advice you know leave the, a comment below and let me know because like I say it took me a minute to do these almost like a week or so and if you can point out other than the mistakes I have made on these, leave a comment below and let me know if you can find any other mistakes that I need to touch up and how I can touch it up if you have any advice. Other than that, I'm probably going to spend like a couple more days with these after this weekend and that should be it. I'll do a video once they come 100% complete and on foot review on them. And what I think about the uh, Fear 4s, because I'm going to tell you right now, if they were to come out with a new pair, a new version of the Fear 4s, I would get them. But I would still keep these um, because I've worked so hard to get these back to normal. And I think, I think that's it, y'all. So, um, like I said before, um, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, give this video a thumbs up. Would you, you know, let me know that a lot of people are watching this. And like I always say, um, Stand for something, y'all will fall for something. Oh, and by the way, for the birthday shout outs, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. All right, y'all. Stay blessed. Peace.